Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in Parking Tycoon Business Simulator, and um, yeah, I'm just trying to get the reputation up, and I think the only way of doing that is painting, so let's paint some more lines and get that thumb filled up, and then obviously we'll get some more cars in as well. Nice, so almost there, so if I just spend the rest of the money, so another... Um, six car park spaces I think that might do the reputation thing because uh, yeah we need something we need something to happen soon this is boring so uh, let's get another eight of these or not uh, oh I had 1200 I thought I had 1600 okay right and we've got a queue right that's someone graffiti in and I tell you what this bloke He'd only do it once. Hey, get the hell out of here. Um <clears throat> anyway, so we obviously need security. And let's pick this rubbish up. So that and that nice. Right, where are you going? Further down. Excellent. Yeah, so I did a live stream yesterday and um yeah, a few people, um, I told them that I was going to be playing this and I told them that I wasn't hugely impressed at the moment and uh, yeah, unfortunately it seems like the playthroughs that they watched, they weren't hugely impressed by it either. So uh, yeah, I don't know why there was so much done on this really. Um, I suppose the YouTubers were just kind of riding it. Um, should you have driven here, mate? You look drunk. And you've parked wonky. Uh, unless I'm doing it as a joke, when I used to park my car, if it was like that, I just couldn't leave it. I wouldn't be able to turn the engine off. I'd have to uh, fix it. Hello, mate. How you doing? I think that was me in a state agent simulator. Right, there we go. I know I go on about that game a lot, but... um. That did actually save me, that game. Uh, so that came out September last year, and um, I was going for a real dead spot, a dead patch with my channel, and uh, yeah, and then that came along, and I had something really good to play. Okay, hello. Um, right, here we go, nice. Get rid of him. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, delivery arrived. So let's go and try and boost ourselves up to level two. Um, nice. And yeah, I have been thinking about it. So obviously, I did moan a little bit about the volume and not being able to turn it down. And then I was thinking, it's... Uh, hello, you all right? It doesn't really apply to... Oh, did I not pick it up? Everyone, but... It does. So this game is very uh, noisy as standard and lots of people when you're playing a game you want to put your own music on and stuff don't you but um, yeah where the uh, sound can't be changed on here. A sodden bloke. There's Emily. Hey, Sod the off. Out of here. You've got a nice kind of hair mate but you're a dick. Um, yeah, lots of people like to play music when they're playing games, especially this sort of game, like a simulation game. And uh, where you can't turn the sound down, you'd have to go into like Windows settings or whatever, and that's just annoying, isn't it? Great. Now I know the basics of the parking business. Time to get the money bags ready. Okay, nice one. So we've got one more space that we can put in here. Uh, we've got rubbish bloody everywhere. No, it's only that one. So let's see this bloke out. <clears throat> and hope that um, yeah, this improves the game a lot. Eight rubbish all of a sudden. Oh, that's probably because it's dropped a bag. Right, so parking limiter. I don't know what that is. Um, okay. Security, we can't get... Oh, fence level one. Um, is that just one bit of fence? It looks like it, doesn't it? Don't bib, mate. 500 for a street light 
Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this because I hate when people bib. I really, really do. He just drove off without paying. What a bugger. Right, collect the money first. Can't collect it from there because that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Tweezy. Right, you dare drive off, mate. I'll chase you to the road and it'll say I've got to keep an eye on the business. I've got to keep an eye on business. Right. <clears throat> Alright, mate. Cheers. See you later. Are they socks or boots? Boots. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. 417 quid. Yeah, so I'm losing my voice as well, which is a little bit um, awkward. So, parking limiter. I don't know what it is, but we'll buy one. And we'll buy one of them as well. And a bit. Okay. 17 quid. Oh, that's... Hey, I'd hit you so you? hard, mate. You wouldn't believe it. Um, hello. Nice. Right, so I think that was the reason why we had so much. So let's try and get rid of this. Nope. It's just because we've got so many cars in and out now. Hello. Nice one. See you later. Right. So let's get the bin out. Nice. Nice. Um, where's my delivery? Is that here yet? Yep, there it is. Right, any there? Are you going to drop anything? Not yet. Right, well, I don't know then. There's some. Is it here? Not like I could see. Hello. Cheers, mate. See you later. Well, I'm going to put the barrier down. And then let's go and get this delivery. Why aren't these lights on? Uh, cheers, mate. Thank you. See you later. Oh, no. Why is that going off? I'm having some trouble with um, my um, Discord at the moment. It's um, it's not going in streamer mode. So I am sorry that it keeps doing notifications. It might actually be my stream deck that's messing about. Cheers, mate. See you later. Right, pitch black. Um, so, what even is this place? Okay, so that gives an extra two dollars an hour. Hello, mate. I can barely see you because the game's poorly designed. But um, cheers, mate. Thank you. See you later. Have a good one. No lights. Oh. Right. Jolly with a bat. Hey, get the hell out of here. I can barely see. So lighting is um, not good on this. And seeing as, yeah, this is the um, yeah pre DLC game. Um, it's just how it is, isn't it? They're obviously not going to update it. Thank you. See you later. Got loads of rubbish out. Um, so I wonder, if I put this down, um, will people use a bin, or is it just pointless? I don't know. Cheers. See you later. Yeah, why haven't the cars got headlights on? Right, no rubbish there. None there. Here we go. Just can't see. There we go. That's all the rubbish done. Oh. Right, 
Let's get this cash. Cheers, mate. See you later. Have a good one. Right, close the barrier for a bit. And there's no brightness setting either, so I can't change it my end. Um, Alright, so let's just get some more of them then. I've still got that uh, fence to put down as well, haven't I? Alright, so we'll get five of them. I know that the door's shut. And let's see what happens when I try and put this... Nope. This down. Okay, so it is just one. So what, what's occurring here then? Alright, so I literally have to... Don't, mate. Honestly, you don't want to be doing that. Right, so we've got a... Crim there. Oh my. Right, delivery's here. Thank you. See you later. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, close this. Go and get the delivery. Then that'll boost our money a little bit more. Here we go. Cheers, mate. See you later. Oh, my goodness. It really does bug me so much. And I've lost the plot before when I've been working in uh, gatehouses, for instance, and people have bibbed. I remember once, one of the places I worked... So I did actually used to work in there quite a lot because, um, well, I used to get trouble um, fairly often. Um, the staff used to just walk out and uh, yeah, I was in this place once and uh, it was a gatehouse and there was, um, yeah, obviously a way in and a way out and you were in the middle and you had to um, go out and actually deal with people. So I was dealing with one and the fella could see that there was just me and I'm not slow so I was doing my job properly and uh, getting people in and out as quick as possible and the f flipping idiot he bibbed as if that was going to speed me up and I just stopped and I just looked across at him locked on like eye contact and I just like shook my head and said what are you doing and then I went back to like dealing with this bloke and uh yeah, I walked over after to let him in. And I said, how many people do you think are working here? And he said, well, it's obviously not enough, mate. And I said, but do you think that's my problem? Do you think that I've said, no, nah, I'll, I'll do it all. I'll do it all. I have double my salary. Oh, God. People are just so thick. And they'll take it out on the first person they see. And unfortunately, a lot of the time, that is security. Um, and they know that you're not allowed to just knock them out as well. Hey, get the hell out of here! Because you go to prison, so they yeah know that they can kind of treat you like crap. But everyone, oh thank you, thank you very much, I appreciate that. Everyone has got a breaking point. Um, <laughs> right, so let's try and get rid of some of this rubbish in the pitch black. Um, this is great YouTube, isn't it? It's fantastic. Uh. That's a mirror or shadow of a mirror. I'll get told off for how I say mirror now as well. Um, is that a bin bag? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so I think that's... That? Don't bib at me, mate, because I'll pull you out of the bloody window. With you in a second, mate. Yeah, it's like a nightmare. Um, right, go on in. 
Right, almost six in the morning, so we can have some daytime soon. Nice. See you later, mate. Have a good one. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, that's made it so much better, isn't it? Anyway, um... So, where's the rest of this rubbish, then? Oh, just got ran over. There's some more. Nice. And that's all of the rubbish. Right, let's go and deal with this. Thank you. See you later. Have a good one. Safe journey. Hello, mate. Nice one. See you later. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam, thank you very much. Nice. Cheers. See you later. Yeah, so luckily I never had to work in parking. Um, I don't think I'm actually licensed for working in parking. I can't remember. I can't remember how that works in the UK. No, I'm, I'm not. Um, I don't think you need to be licensed to be a parking attendant. But um, yeah, I never did it. I wouldn't be able to. Oh, good. We've got a prick over there. He wants a bat in the face. Hey, get the hell out of here. Right, so we've got a grand and 81. So what can I do with that? Um, oh, yeah, we've got some other stuff here, haven't we? Road concrete, 25. Yep, yeah, why not? Well, isn't that lovely? Madam, how are you doing? Well, we can drive off then. Nice. And you would have thought, in a game about car parks, you'd be able to uh, <clears throat> get run over and stuff, wouldn't you? Nice parking, mate. I didn't jump, by the way. I didn't flinch. So if that was your intention, it didn't work, mate. Oh, yeah, and one day, um, I was at that same place. And, yeah, we did used to get quite a lot of trouble there. Um, and lots of people tried to park there because it was, um, yeah, close to a town. And lots of people used to try and park there for free, pretending that they were a member of staff there. And then, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. And then when they got caught out, obviously, they were pissed about it. But, um, yeah, one day, this bloke, thought he was a big man and uh cheers mate see you later and i was saying you you don't work here mate so i'm not letting you in and he was saying oh can't can't i just turn around in there and i was saying nope because once you're through then you're on site so i can't let you in and uh he started raging because he was obviously like i don't know gonna go go to work somewhere else or whatever and he was probably running late and uh nice caliper there mate well, it is a Range Rover Evoke, so they probably come like that broke. Um, but yeah, he uh, he said, don't make me get out. And I said, you don't want to get out, mate. Don't make a fool of yourself. Look, you don't work here. You're not coming in. And uh, he smashed his door open into one of these and it creased it. And I was standing there and I was singing this karma. And then he didn't get out because he just did it for effect. He just wanted to show me how quick he could open his car door. But he just opened it straight into, yeah, the side of the um, ticket one of these. Dickhead. But yeah, I was just standing there and I was trying not to laugh. Hey, I don't think I did actually laugh. But yeah, idiots. And these people never know who they're dealing with. And they never know, like, what's going on at home or whatever. So, yeah... Everyone's got a breaking point, and sometimes people, even if it's not work-related, are very close to that breaking point. Don't push people. No rubbish drops. Is he going to use the bin? Nope. I did see that get used, though, so I'm glad about that. Right, so we've got 536...
and as I'm recording this the first episode hasn't gone live by the way I did it for the next day so I can give myself a bit of a break hello cheers see you later Thank you. See you later. 88. It's like an NCP car park or whatever they're called. So we did a job once just outside of London when I was labouring. And uh, cheers, mate. See you later. And um, yeah, my boss said, I don't know where you're all going to park because there's loads of us. Um, so I picked about probably three blokes up and uh, went in. And the car park for the day was 30 something quid, 32 quid or something. I couldn't believe it. So obviously I had the fuel. Thank you. See you later. I had the fuel and then, yeah, 32 quid worth of parking on top. It was awful. And then in the end, we ended up doing something really stupid and illegal. Just because, yeah, it was just so much money. Yeah, we all just piled into the back of the van without seat. So I don't recommend it. It's stupid. But I was young and dumb. You've literally just seen me here, mate. You know you're gonna get a Hey! Get the hell out of here. Bat on the head. Right. Emily, come on, let's just go. Let's just go, come on. Ryan, how you doing, mate? Oh, um I yeah, not for boys, your top said. <laughs> So she was on um, Estate Agent Simulator 2 and I hired her for one day. Thank you. See you later. I can't remember what her name was. But um, yeah, I was just trying out all the staff. And like, it's a car park game. You would have thought that the animation of parking would be a little bit more streamlined, wouldn't you? Seeing as that's the game. Parking. Hello, mate. Perfect. See you later. Alright, so we can afford one more space. So let's go and buy one more space and something else. Uh, 1500. Yeah, so one of them and. Why not? Let's do a gram worth. Uh, is the door open? Yep. Cheers, mate. See you later. Perfect. Thank you. See you later. Right, here comes the van. So let's close this. So no one drives off. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I just imagine, like, working as a parking attendant or whatever would be soul-destroying. Uh, it's just reminded me of that excellent episode of um, One Foot in the Grave, though, where, um, yeah, Victor Meldrew uses a little bit of TCP, which is, I don't know whether they said it abroad, but it's something that um, smells very, very strong. It's kind of like a medicine. And uh, cheers, mate. And I think he goes into an NCP car park as well. But um, it's one where they park your car for you. And, uh, yeah, he gives them the number plate. And he goes off and he brings the right car back. But it's hey, someone else's car. It's got a different number plate. And the number plate is TCP. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Very underrated, that um, series, in my opinion. Right, uh, nice. Yeah, so if I manage to, there's a bin over there, mate. If I do manage to go full time on the old tube, I'll be able to watch that next year, hopefully. Nice. Uh, bugger it. How far can I throw this? 
God. Okay, so there's some more rubbish there. Don't bib at me, mate. Not in the mood. Okay. Oh, my. And I can't even turn it down either. So it's like the ultimate troll for Johnny. There you go. Off you go, then. Thank you. See you later. And there's not many cars on there either, is there? Hello. Thank you. Cheers. Um... Are there four cars on here? Hello. Uh, five, including the delivery, I suppose. Hello. Is that Sonia? Or was that wifey? I don't know. Yeah, but there's not a huge amount of cars either. And, um... Yeah, it's a car game, isn't it? Right, that's them down. So that's an extra um, few quid per parking. That's Sonia, isn't it? See you later. Hey, get the hell out of here! Is he going? Yep. Right, nine hundred and fifty-one. So we can afford some fencing. Cheers, mate. See you later. Oh, it's getting dark again. My goodness. Um, do you want to pop your seat up a little bit, mate? I sit there pibbing. <laughs> Big man in an Audi. Hello. Oh, for f why are they bibbing at me now? Cheers. See you later. Thank you. See you later. Right. Let's get these fences down because exciting. Here we go. Nice. See you later. Right. We've still got a space that we can pop down as well. Cheers, mate. See you later. Oh, someone's going to comment about that. Uh, nice. And we'll just go along here. Okay. So, am I still holding one or not? Well, it looks a bit not. Snot. Cheers, mate. See you later. Right, so that needs clearing. Pick up. Oh, this is so fun in the dark. It really is. I just I can't get enough of this. Um. Hello, mate. I know that there's loads of rubbish, but I can't see it, and uh, yeah, can't be dealing with it. So let's go on here. And I am aware, by the way, that I could um, use OBS and use a um, filter to make this brighter. But I don't like to um, yeah, portray games in a different light to how they're um, yeah, meant to be played. What's all that noise? Is someone messing with my fence? Oh, you're joking, aren't you? Oh, for... F um, why is he running up there if he's coming back on himself anyway? So has he just actually broke my fence? I hope he's never had his nose broken.
Right, sorry mate, I'm gonna have to go and break this bloke's nose. Hey, get the hell out of here! Okay. Sorry about that, mate. Run him over. Go on, mate. Right, 957. Let's go and have a look at this fence then, shall we? Oh, my goodness. It's actually damaged the fence. Look, it's gone. And I think where this game's been out for quite a while, it's pointless me saying suggestions, because... Yeah, my suggestion would be that when you beat someone up, like the graffiti person or the car thief, who's for some reason trying to steal the bumper, you get um, money for it. You mug them. Thanks, I'll, I'll pick your rubbish up for you, madam. Don't you worry. Oh. Hey, bud. Oh, I've got to keep an eye on business. Tosser. Madam. Hello. How's it there? Thank you. See you later. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be five episodes on this. <laughs> no, mate. Cheers. So at 1500 we can do something else. So let's just wait for this next car to come through. Quick sip of tea. Cheers everyone. Okay. Cheers mate. See you later. Right, we'll close the barrier. And here we go. So, um... Alright, let's do this one. All the fun. Nice one. Cheers, mate. See you later. Don't be with me. Hello, mate. Thank you. Right, so... Yeah, there's no options here. Oh, did you see the moon move like that? Hello. Thank you. See you later. That wasn't in the game, by the way. That gunshot.
Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to play this game anymore, so I am sorry if anyone's disappointed and with me to complete this, but it's just boring. The lighting is crap. Um, it's just the same old stuff over and over again. I know that this probably turns into a multi-story or whatever, since we've got these, and you can probably get lights and stuff, but, yeah, I, I just don't really feel like it's... Um, worthy of the series so I am grateful that I got a key for it but um, yeah I think it needs um, quite a lot more to make it enjoyable to play um, if I was buying this for playing off camera um, I really do think I'd be a bit disappointed it's meant to be a car game and the way the cars move and stuff and the wheels is all just wrong and they drive along with no lights on, all that kind of thing. You can run through them. And, uh, yeah, it just... I don't know, it doesn't appeal to me. Obviously, if it's your thing, then good luck to you. We've each got, yeah, games that we enjoy separately. Like, I love ETS2, Euro Truck Simulator, but, um, yeah, I appreciate that it's not for everyone. Lots of people find it very boring, but... I find it therapeutic and I'm sure some people found this very therapeutic but I'm not finding that. It might be the bibbing as well so obviously yeah working in security and at the petrol station as well um, bibbing used to really really get me so it's kind of like a <laughs> reliving traumatic events. So, I'm going to leave this one here, and I'm going to leave the series here as well. If there's an update, um, I'll play it again. But at the moment, um, yeah, I, I just don't feel like I'm making even mediocre content on this game. So, thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've enjoyed this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So... Cheers, everyone, and bye for now.